There certainly is, Lanice and Byron. The alleged murder happening back in September, but Claritha Broadhead wasn't booked here into Metro until this afternoon. She's uh, charged with killing her husband, Antonio Grayson, and after checking these court documents, it shows that Grayson was indicted a few months before his death on a very serious domestic violence charge. Turns out the alleged victim in that case was Claritha Broadhead. 59-year-old Clyretha Broadhead, also known as Clyretha Grayson, arrested for murder in Metro Jail tonight. Mobile police say she killed her husband, 55-year-old Antonio Grayson. He died more than a month and a half ago. Police called to this home off Glen Avenue on the morning of Sunday, September 28th, where they found him dead inside. Investigators say an autopsy pointed to homicide, leading to today's arrest. While she's facing a murder charge tonight, Broadhead is also also an alleged victim at the hands of the man she's accused of killing. According to Metro Jail Records, Antonio Grayson has a long rap sheet dating back to 1984. Since 2001, he was arrested 15 times for domestic violence. His most recent arrest in July, the year before, also in July, another charge. Court records go into more detail. The police report identifying Clyretha Broadhead as the victim. The report goes on to say Grayson assaulted her by trying to strangle or suffocate her, grabbing her by the throat, choking her until she had difficulty breathing, almost losing consciousness. Another court document filed in August shows prosecutors planned on trying him as an habitual offender. Meanwhile, neighbors say Broadhead hadn't lived here long and say they remember when police showed up back in September and are surprised by the latest turn of events. Again, Clyretha Broadhead in Metro Jail tonight charged with murder. She could have her bond hearing as early as tomorrow. Live from Metro, Lee Peck. Fox 10 News.